Jay, many people have been complaining to us about panhandlers using their children to help collect money. In fact, both Church Under the Bridge Midland and local police officers suspect that many of these panhandlers are from Romania and are only here to collect money. People, sh people should be educated on if these people are legit or not and they're not, so stop giving them money. Aside the fact that panhandling is illegal in both Midland and Odessa, these people continue to hold up signs which claim they are in desperate need of help. The majority of the time, these individuals are women who are either alone or with small children who are holding up the signs. We've actually reached out to them to try to help them, and um, it was very, very obvious that, that they didn't want any of our help that they're here for one reason and one reason only, that's just to get money. This family of four was initially very welcoming when thinking that I was going to give them money, but that took a quick turn when I started to ask them questions about their living situation. On separate occasions, I approached two different women who were panhandling, one near the Midland Mall and the other by Home Depot. They both claimed they were from Phoenix and spoke in heavy foreign accents. Within a minute of approaching them with our camera, their phones rang and they hustled away towards a vehicle parked a short distance away. Both drivers were unidentified men. One of those women was even yelled at by one of the male drivers to get into the car. As I watched her, I noticed the same family I had tried to interview earlier interacting with the man who was yelling. After all of these incidents, I have great reason to believe that something greater is going on among all of these people who claim not to know one another. Both police departments say this is something they are going to look into, and of course, we will keep you posted as we learn more. Live in the newsroom, Deanne Lopez, CBS 7 News.